If you ever hear big movie news, make sure it's from Variety, Deadline, or The Hollywood Reporter because it is confirmed that the Acolyte has been cancelled. And in my opinion, honestly this comes as a surprise to me. I, I didn't think that they would just straight up cancel it, leave it off on a big cliffhanger that was season 1, but um, honestly as, as much as I wasn't big of a fan of the show, I was interested to see what a season 2 would bring for better or worse because sometimes a show doesn't have a good first season. My example would be The Office. I did not like season 1. I really didn't like season 1 of The Office and I contemplated on leaving it. But I, for whatever reason, I had a really sick morbid curiosity and I continued. And I'm really glad I did. When I started watching season 2, I was hooked. I was laughing, I, I had a good time with the show and its characters. Really glad I kept watching. Another example of mine would be the first season of Justice League. I felt it had a really, <laughs> honestly, it didn't have a lot of good episodes in that first season. Some of them I really like, but as a whole, I felt underwhelmed. But I would argue that in Justice League and The Office, the first season was just trying to find its footing, trying to find out how to actually tell the story that the show wants to tell. Um, figuring out its characters, their relationship, where the stories are going to go. So maybe that's what Acolyte was. It was a show trying to find its footing, trying to figure itself out, its own identity. And maybe in season 2 it would have came together. And I don't think it's a shill of me to say that, to be optimistic. I Does the show have problems? Yeah, of course it does. Of course it had problems. I talked about it in my own review. But um, I thought it was strange that I got called a shill because I didn't like the people complain about Kiai Mundi. I don't hate Kiai Mundi, but I felt that the people complaining about the fact that they changed his birthday, yes, I understand that there's other caveats as well, the fact that like, he said one thing in the prequels, but you know, in the Acolyte, it shows that he should have known better. I mean, he didn't know if it was an actual Sith, all he knew is that there was someone who was a Force user killing other Jedi. You could be an evil person who uses the Force and not be a Sith. There's multiple reasons why Kiai Mundi being in the Acolyte doesn't really break the canon. And honestly, I just don't want to talk about it because I'm so exhausted from that whole conversation. But I, I will agree that he didn't need to be in the show, much like Yoda didn't need to be in the show. But um, honestly, I I don't feel like I lost anything, the fact that the show got cancelled. I will say this, honestly, I think the Acolyte deserved a season 2 more than Velma. See, Velma was a show that was very malicious, it, it was so, it was trying to be rage baity on purpose. It was trying to get you to hate the show so you would watch it. It, it relied pure on watch hate, which is terrible. <laughs> this is a show that actually hates you. I know that there's some people who are going to say that, oh, they act like the same way, but really it's not. It's just a show that tried to do s new things, and some of it debatably didn't work. And some of it truly didn't work, but... It was a show that tried to do something new, and that's what Star Wars needs. It needs to do something new. It shouldn't have to over rely on everything that came before with legacy characters. And I really hope that because the show got cancelled, I hope that this doesn't make Disney want to over rely on the legacy stuff even more. I hope that they still try. I hope they still continue and want to tell new stories within the Star Wars universe, to tell new stories with new characters and add new things. Because how many times are we going to bring in legacy characters like Ezra Bridger or Ahsoka? Like how many times are we going to see them again and again and again? I don't know. I It's a very strange time to be a Star Wars fan, more so than ever before that's all i gotta say but what do you think are you disappointed that the joke got canceled are you in between like i am and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned for more videos